Welcome back to Ottoman Asia, Malaysian style. That's right, you heard me right. I am here in Kuala Lumpur. I'm here for a couple of days. This is the first part, aha, first part of my super secret trip. And that was Kuala Lumpur. A lot of people, a lot of you guys got it right. Yeah, it was pretty close, but hey, where's my second stop gonna be? You tell me. Okay, but let me tell you about this. I got an Airbnb way somewhere up the hill up there. And um, it was it was a pain in the ass. My I did not have I did not have internet that was working. You have to have internet in order to get into this freaking Airbnb. Uh, twice you need it. Okay, my card wasn't working. I got one at the 7-Eleven. It wasn't working. And blah 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 blah. Uh, let me show you what I had to go through to get in here, and I'll go kind of step by step because it's pretty uh, pretty wild. Plus, I'll show you around the uh, complex. It's huge. There's three huge freaking towers like that and swimming pools and stuff kind of cool stuff and uh, of course at the end i'll show you uh my airbnb room it's really nice and i'll even give you the price on it because i, I couldn't believe it myself so let's do this come on all right this is the entrance to it it's really not like a hotel lobby or anything it's just a whole bunch of condos uh first thing i had to do was uh come through here and talk to this gentleman after I got my internet working I had to uh, fill out hey how you doing there this guy helped me out a lot he was number one guy there all righty and after I got all that stuff taken care of with the guard and all that and the I neighbor app uh, I had to come in here it's kind of like I said kind of like a quest game <laughs> uh, and the next thing I had to do was come in here and look for the mailbox out of all these mailboxes and uh, I finally found the number and there's hundreds of them and it kind of had one of these locking devices and I had to put in a secret super secret code in it uh, to open it up and get the key all right so you think uh, heck you know let's take the elevator and I'm I'm in my room shower up take a nap and I'm good right well let me show you what I had to do from here because it ain't over yet. Okay, now the next thing I had to do is uh, find the right elevator out of the, the 50 or so elevators. Uh, but there was only uh, a couple that I, I could take to get up to the first place I'm going and it happened to be uh, uh, lift lobby three. I don't go up all the way, I'm on the, I'm on the fifth floor, but I'm going up to a CP3 floor whatever that means cp3 up there this is very important elevator number pl24 okay i need to find plu 10 okay i've got uh what, uh, pl 22 and and uh 20 and okay well i'll just i'll just keep on going down this way here and it's got to be somewhere so i'm not going to take you up and down all these banks of elevators but you're 18 all right yeah okay there's probably another whole bunch of bank we're almost there where are you away oh it's a dead end but oh wait a minute which one's this okay pl 17 it stops there's no plu 10 i look around three times oh. what they meant to say was unit 10 okay all right so that done we are gonna go to the fifth floor. Hey, here's a scary one. 13 and 13A. Ooh. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. That would be scary in itself right there. I ain't stopping off at any one of those. <laughs> no way. Then I walk into a, a room with <laughs> the elevator and three doors. This is my room. <laughs> Seriously, right next to the elevator, how, how much closer can you get? So, anyways, let's go in here and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, well now here we got a little garden up on the umpteenth floor. Not really sure what floor it is. Except I know it's not Florida. Okay, okay, that was a grandpa joke. I'll warn everybody that, yeah, that, that was a grandpa joke. But it is really nice up here. Well, I have I've found the Swedish gardens. 
so they call it. I haven't walked around it yet, but let's go check it out. It's a kind of nice place where you can sit down and friends and have lunch or something. Uh, oh, but apparently this place goes, uh, goes on a bit. Another elevator that is uh, camouflaged. Uh, we got a couple, oh, we got all kinds of freaking stairs and oh, there's some stairs going up to a cool little seat to sit in right there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice one, pretty big. Okay, this place is uh, called the Floating Garden. Um, you walk around on these grassy areas. And you can also get down there and sit down and converse with friends and relatives. Isn't that kind of neat? It's a maze. Not amazing, it's just a maze. <laughs> uh, there are several um, places around here that have, like, if, if, if you ever look at the uh, uh, booking.com or whatever, uh, have a lot of uh, different rooms. I'm going to try to find them all. This is one of them. I uh, got the Swedish, um, yeah, the Swedish place. Okay, this is uh, the pool that we got going on. A little part of the pool over there also. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Not too big, but I'm sure the kids enjoy it. There's the thing room. Oh no, dude. It's the blob room. Hang on. Oh, and it's locked. But that's kind of what the blob room was. I know it's really horrible, but <sighs> see how the little blobs over there and stuff. Maybe, maybe the blob was eating too many people, so like they clo had to close it. All right. Well, this here is a interesting room. I don't know what you would want to call this one. Gee, let's make it look cold and arctic and. <laughs> Uh, so it's pretty wild. Oh, it comes right off the pool, too. And it's all nice and lit up, and people using it as an ashtray or something. I don't know. And now, uh, this is one of the last places I guess I'm going to be finding today. One, only one was locked up, and that was the, what they called the cloud room, but I called it the blob room. Here's a little. Um, playground area. We got places where you can chill, do exercises, kids can play. You can just kind of walk around the trees and stuff where it's really nice. And um, lots of places to sit because, yeah, you have to figure you have to figure out which freaking elevator you take <laughs> to get to where you need to get to. Yeah, that's that's been. I get lost in the freaking elevators. And let's show you this place, and then I'll tell you, stay tuned for the end, and I'll tell you how much this place cost me. Uh, you got a little kitchen area, uh, washing machine, microwave, uh, you got dishes, a little burner, uh, you got pots and pans and stuff underneath here, and everything that you're going to need to cook. Uh, and a pretty decent refrigerator, freezer. And they also have uh, some stuff here that you can purchase for, well, you know, a little bit more than what it costs for them to buy it at the little store just downstairs. <laughs> and you got a nice little table. Uh, I really haven't used it other than to put my stuff on it. An air conditioner, which is definitely on because I really don't have to pay for it. I already paid for it by getting a room. Pretty decent TV. You got your uh, router. That's a new router too. Looks nice. The living room type area. Nice overstuffed, just comfy chair. And then of course the bedroom and yeah, I already trashed it okay. But I, I just want you to get the feel of it being lived in, not just like so, so, so 
Spartan and, and, and you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of, there's one, the, the Three Towers, yeah. Uh, that was a book that uh, Tolkien never got finished, but um, yeah, I'm in Tower Three. So this is the place, it's really nice. You've seen all the other stuff. And I'm going to tell you how much now that uh, that it cost. I did I did uh, get it on um, Airbnb, uh, which I, I use from time to time, quite often actually. Uh, but I got it for four days, and the total price with cleaning, tax, all that stuff uh, ended up being only twenty-eight dollars a night. So that's not too bad, uh, you know. So that's where I'm at, and. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, if you're still here, you know, you are my number one fan. So see you later. Bye, have a great day.